Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing the newly launched Ink Artist Gel Kajal Pencils from K Beauty. So K Beauty has come up with a line of eye gel kajal pencils in colors and they are promoting it as everyday wear because it is so comfortable and they're waterproof and they're easy to apply and this and that so yeah i'm always very excited about like k beauty products so when i saw this launch i had to order i immediately opened nika and i honestly i wanted to order two three shades but then when i saw the range they're just offering seven simple shades is blue gold silver so there's nothing really exciting for me to order and like they're promoting it as everyday wear honestly i don't know anyone who would wear gold and silver day to day life so i really do not understand the concept but because i wanted to try i ordered this olive color pencil this is like a very khaki color pencil so I thought that okay this is like an everyday wearable color and also it will be a good addition to my vanity so yeah this is the product that I have so in this particular video we will be doing a first impression the claims versus reality and the trial the application everything about this casual pencil so yeah without any further ado let's get started I'll just take few seconds to talk about the packaging because See, the K-Beauty packaging is very, very simple. It's very, very uniform. This is how they package all their products. Uh, the color over here, the monogramming over here, the basic details over here, uh, the remaining uh, description, the ingredients, the MRP, everything at the back. This is how uh, it looks from the inside. And as you can see that it is still sealed. I will open it in front of you guys. And I really like this metal uh, golden metal cover that they have this is giving it a very pricey look right so for the packaging i would say that uh, it's it's nice especially this golden cap it is giving it a nice uh, pricey look and now i'm like really 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 excited to try it so let's begin and the first watch i'll be doing on my hands very lightly okay so the color is nice i mean to say the pigmentation is nice and it was it just glided on smoothly it was that easy to apply in the sense that it was very waxy so now i think the hand swatch looks good to me so now let's just quickly move to the eyes now i've not applied a very light color base on my eyes because they are promoting it as everyday wear and on everyday basis you will not be applying a very light color base so it's just a little bit of concealer right so let's apply it as an eyeliner first okay so applying it as an eyeliner is looking quite fun to me because it is moving very smoothly as i said that it is literally gliding even the pigmentation is nice i mean when you apply it it looks a little glossy but eventually it turns in, like you know it settles into a matte finish and uh, normally i'm very camera conscious when i'm applying eyeliner but with this it is so comfortable and so easy to use that like in spite of the fact that i'm in front of the camera i'm just having a good time applying the liner So this was a very good experience. I mean, talking about ease of application, it was literally very easy. And more than that, it was a lot of fun. And even if you look at the pigmentation, I mean, it is so opaque and so solid. I mean, this is one color that I can actually consider wearing on everyday basis. It is so subtle yet gorgeous. Now on this eye, I'll apply this color and uh, you know try to smudge it a little bit because I want to see that if I ever want to wear a khaki smoky eye or an olive green smoky eye, then will this live up to the challenge or not? Now to apply it as a smudged kajal, I will apply this olive color on uh, you know very close to my lash line and I'm applying a very thick line, uh, not taking it to the inner corner because then it becomes a little excess. So now once I've applied a thick line, what I'll do is I'll take a regular bullet brush and I'll start blending it. And uh, it is easy to blend but what I'm noticing is that once it starts settling, you know, once it starts getting dried, it becomes difficult to blend. Like you can see that in the center of my eyelid, a lot of golden glitter has got stuck because now that portion is dry. So if you want to work with it, you'll have to be really quick and I think you will need a little bit of practice also. Now I'm reapplying a little bit of olive color because for getting the right pigment, uh, you know, while blending, I realized that a lot of olive color has actually vanished. So I have to reapply it and 
then I'm you know blending it again so if you want a smoky eye with this or rather with any colored pencil you'll have to like build it on but yeah I'm kind of liking the final result what I've understood is that this pencil is easy to blend yes you will need a little bit of practice I mean this part was fun anybody can do it but for this you will definitely uh, because you know gel pencils can be a little tricky to deal with so yeah you will need practice now my second and a very important observation is that you have to blend these pencils as soon as you apply them i mean the moment they start drying blending them will become a nightmare and i'll just prove it to you so this i blended in front of you guys and this eyeliner now it is set so i'll try to blend it and you will see that nothing is happening because with uh, you know gel pencils what happens is that they once they dry they they literally stick like a sticker so after that agar aap uske upar brush chalane ki koshish karoge it will literally peel so yeah these pencils are good to create like the smoky eye but you'll have to be like quick like a cat because otherwise if once it sets it's trouble time baby so i had to remove the eyeliner from here because i really like this look so jaldi se i just created something similar and i also applied like a little bit of mascara so now i want to try this product as a kajal now because i'm a very greedy person and i want to try this kajal in as many ways as possible on one eye i'm going for a very intense kajal look you know the kind of look that you create by applying this kajal to and fro to and fro so you can see that i'm literally gissoing the kajal on the waterline but i'm actually like really loving the pigment that it has created it is so beautiful and it just looks perfect to me you know i can just smudge it but i'll leave it over here on this eye i want to go for a more sharp liner look you know like you know a very single line of sharp kajal and even that looks pretty fine to me So applying this as a kajal was also a lot of fun as I expected. On this eye I tried like to give it a more dramatic you know ghis ghis ke jaise hum kajal lagate hain. So that also looked very pretty to me and over here I tried a very sharp you know like the Kareena Kapoor uh, Khan ka jo kajal ka look hota hai. So I tried something like that and obviously I like this one better but this has performed well in both the ways. So these gel kajal pencils are supposed to have a jewel finish right so they are not metallic they are not even matte they are like a hybrid between a matte and a metallic liner and they have created something like a jewel finish remember in the beginning of the video i said that i don't know anyone who would probably wear a metallic shiny gold or silver or rose gold eyeliner on everyday basis but when i applied it i mean if you closely look at the finish you will find that it is basically a very matte looking kajal but it does have a few like dots of glitter here and there which makes them stand out from so many other uh, colored gel kajal pencils which are quite a lot in the market now before we move to the most exciting claim versus reality round i also want to do a little bit of comparison between the k beauty ink artist gel kajal pencils and the lacme explore more gel pencil talking about ease of application they both were very easy to apply and just glided on like butter pigmentation wise also both of these pencils are very very strong i mean i know they're not similar colors but uh, in this you can see that both of them are very very opaque packaging wise i'll have to give it to k beauty i mean this is a far more luxurious looking pencil than this one i mean this rose gold cap just took the price i would say. now lacme is offering you 10 shades whereas k beauty is offering you only 7 shades but even in the 10 shades offered by lacme you will see that one is black one is white so in the colored range they are basically just giving you 8 shades and none of them is the basic gold and silver whereas the range offered by k beauty is a lot more rational in the sense there's gold there's silver bronze rose gold so these are the kind of colors that you would actually use you know in a party look or even in a day to day basis if you like wearing those kind of colors so even though lacme is offering more shades i find the shade range of k beauty better now pricing wise you get one lacme explore eye pencil for 650 rupees and they're offering you 1.2 grams whereas you get the k beauty pencil for 600 rupees and they are also offering you 1.2 grams so considering everything else as equal pricing wise k beauty is definitely winning because it is 50 rupees cheaper than a lacme explore eye pencil 
finish that a product is offering you is very important therefore i even raved about the jewel finish that this is giving so if i compare it with the lacme one even lacme one is not like 100% metallic it is also slight like a hybrid between the metallic and the matte one and it is also something that you can wear on everyday basis if you closely compare the two you'll find out that the finish of the lacme one is a little more metallic than the uh, k beauty one now i personally like the k beauty finish more because i'm i'm somebody who loves matte and everything matte but again it's a personal choice uh, but yes i wanted to demonstrate it to you closely so that you can take a wise decision when you are confused between k beauty and lacme now the people at k beauty are saying that it's a 100% waterproof uh, gel kajal pencil so yeah let's try it okay now pariksha ki ghadi aa gayi hai did i say pariksha All right. Now, so I am applying a little bit of pressure, not too much pressure, but definitely a little bit of pressure. Okay. Okay, now from what I can see and from what you can also see is that some of this eye pencil has definitely one of especially over here where it was like a thin line a lot of product has you know like literally worn out and uh, even if you just look at it this way it is not as pigmented as it was before so yeah what this proves is that this pencil is not 100% waterproof the first claim is that these are creamy and highly pigmented to which i completely agree they are very creamy and so pigmented so pigmented that it was so much fun applying it as an eyeliner then it has a 24 hour long stay now honestly in this video i cannot comment about it because it's more of a first impression and brutal opinion kind of a video so for this part i will try it i'll definitely like try to put it on for as long as possible and then i'll update you guys on my instagram stories so follow me there if you don't then it has a gel formula of course it has a gel formula then it is 100% waterproof so to this i cannot completely agree because i just did the test in front of you guys and you can see that it is not 100% waterproof a uh, 100% smudge proof because it is not 100% waterproof i am assuming that it is also not 100% smudge proof then it's a pencil applicator and it is suitable for all indian skin tones yes i mean the kind of shade range they have bronze gold silver olive so these are the kind of colors which are going to complement all the indian skin tones really well and these are the only claims that they have apart that it's cruelty free and paraben and paraben free and all of that but yeah whatever claims they've made most of them i agree with but of course it is not a 100% waterproof pencil and this is also like a good point of difference between the lacme and the k beauty pencil one because the lacme pencil was actually waterproof i mean i did the test i literally rubbed my hands but yeah it was waterproof So this was my entire review of the newly launched K Beauty Ink Artist Gel Kajal pencils. I love 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 this color. I don't know if I'll buy more because the the shade range I don't find it quite exciting. But yeah, this color is absolutely lovely and I think everybody should have this olive color when you get bored with emeralds and greens. you pick olive so for me yeah i'll definitely say that this is a productive purchase because i am going to use this baby quite a lot. So this was all that I had to say about the K Beauty Ink Artist Gel Kajal pencils, the latest launch in the market by them. And yeah, uh, I really hope that you found this video useful, and I really hope that that I'm helping you to make better purchase decisions when it comes to makeup and beauty. So yeah, this was all from my side today. I really hope you liked the video. Whatever your feedback is, do write it in the comment section below. I'll see you again with a new video. Until then, bye bye. Take care and lots of love.